Right, so another part to our solar setup is mounting the panels on the roof. Now while the, the room that we've been building, um, we've run out of materials for it and the sheets are a bit too wet to paint. So I'm just moving on to another side of it. So we've got our solar rails. Uh, these have little brackets that go in and these go onto the roof of the shed to hold the panels. So what we've got is we've got mounting brackets. These go in and then they screw down to the roof. Uh, we've got steel roof rafters, so we'll be using steel screws to uh, drill into that to hold them down. And then you've got a whole, se whole series of other types of clips. Now uh, this is an um, intermediate clip, so this goes in and a panel sits in each side and you screw it down. Uh, this is an end clip, so that's what you start your first panel with. Goes on there, panel sits in, screw it down, all nice and tight, all nice and secured. So what I've done is I've measured my roof beams and how far apart they are. I'm just going to get a rough mark with a texture on here, Sharpie, and I'll put the mounting brackets in. So when I get up on the roof, my mounting brackets are roughly in the right position and I can just fine tune them from up there rather than trying to put them all in and all that up on the roof. So I'll get them in, we'll go from there. So as you can see, I've just put all the uh, mounting brackets on. These bolt down to the roof, and these ones hold the panels in. Now they're just in a temporary location, just a rough location, just so they're all on. And I'll start with the bottom row of panels on a nice line, and then I can just sit the panels on, move these down to suit, and then lock them down as we install the panels. here we are, we're up on the roof, well I'm on a ladder, I'm not on the roof yet, uh, got our rails, I've worked out our spacings, I'm running the rails vertically because it works out better with the roof fixings, so got one down the end I've got on and I've got some marks, as you can see it's where my panel ends, so this is where my rail is, and my other rail, and then there'll be a gap, and then another panel. All right, so we've got another one on. He just tech screwed down with some pretty heavy duty tech screws into the steel beam underneath. As you can see, my pre-placed little brackets here are all on. That'll make life easy when uh, I'm putting the panels up. So I need to measure out for one more rail here, and then a couple more down the other end. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five on so far, and now just a few more down the end. I'll put those other three on today, and uh, in the morning I will get the drone and just do a little flyover, so we can have a bit of a look. So, but no, it's pretty simple. Tech screw them down. I'm doing this off a ladder on the edge of the roof, uh, and then once all these are in place, I will get up on the roof and I will align the other ones and tech screw them all down and then I'll set a string line up from this end one all the way down to that other end one and that'll set our first row of panels because I like things to look straight and we'll go from there.